Hi, I'm Jess and welcome to Aberdeen Science Centre. As part of Explorathon 2020, we're going to be learning about anatomy and in particular, what is inside our hands. To do this, we are first going to be looking at one of our brand new exhibits, the Body Scanner. Inside this scanner is a model, and this model is just like you or me. Inside their body, they have lots of different systems which keep them healthy and moving. The body scanner here lets us look at four different systems. First is the digestive system. This uses our organs to absorb the nutrients from our food and remove any waste. Then we have the circulatory system. This moves blood around the body from the heart and delivers oxygen and nutrients to the organs. Then is the nervous system. This collects and processes information from both nerves and the brain, telling the muscles what they need to do to allow you to move. And finally, we have the skeletal system. Here, you can see the bones, starting at the skull and moving down to the little bones in your feet. The skeletal system is what supports the body. And when you're an adult, it is made up of 206 bones. Now, let's have a closer look at the hand. There are 19 bones in your hand and eight in your wrist. For each system, there are touch points which tell you more information and you can see this if you come into the centre. Have you ever wanted to see what's inside your hands? Have you ever wondered why your fingers move one way, but they don't bend the other? Hmm, to see why this is the case, we're going to be making our very own model hands. Let's investigate. To make your model hand, you will need craft foam, paper straws, sticky tape, a pen, scissors, string, and beads. First, draw around your hand. Make sure you spread out your fingers, and if you're finding it difficult, you can get someone else to help you. Then, cut it out. Next, hold out your hand and have a look at where the joins are on your fingers, and make marks on the foam where they are. Now, cut straws for each of the segments of your fingers. These will represent your bones. Follow the lines you drew and cut the straws slightly shorter than them. Tape the straw pieces onto the fingers, leaving a small gap between them. We are going to think about the bones in your palm. Cut the straw so it is just below each finger and is long enough to reach the bottom of the hand, one for each finger. It'll then look something like this, but the fingers don't move. That's because we've only recreated the bones and we need tendons to make our fingers move. Next, take your string and thread it down one of the fingers and cut it, leaving a few centimetres out at the bottom. Tie a bead onto each end and repeat this for all fingers to complete your hand. If you want, you can now turn it over and draw on nails or even jewellery. If you pull on the strings, you will see that the fingers move and this is showing what is going on inside your hands. Each piece of straw represents the tiny bones in your fingers, like we saw on the body scanner. These bones are called the phalanges. The longer straws in the palm of your hand represent longer bones which are called the metacarpals. The string represents your tendons and these connect your bones to your muscles. 
If you look at the back of your hand, when you wiggle your fingers, you might even be able to see your tendons moving. And now you know how the inside of your hand works. Let us know if you try this out yourself by tagging Aberdeen Science Centre on social media. See you next time.